I might also have to go back to the old well, because I don't think I completely explored that. Like, I think there was another section I could have gone to after I fought Paolo. But I'll have to check. I mean, I got karma from killing that one, uh... From that one gargoyle down here, that one giant vampire. So I must be in the right place. I must be going the right way. I like this, because it's like the vampires, they just set up their own little home down here. And then, you know, I come in and just brutally murder all of them. And no one would have known if they hadn't gone ahead and they just started, you know, kidnapping all the goddamn the prisoners, the guards. It's like, no one would have known. Everyone, everyone in the world would have just left you here to your own devices. You screwed this up for yourselves. You have no one to blame but yourselves right now for me murdering you. Oh, that didn't... That didn't throw him away at all. I was hoping that would just throw him to the other side, slam him into a wall, but no. Anybody? Requires a key, damn it. Wait, is that... Are those the vampires already killed? Or were those already dead? Am I just going in a circle now? I might just be going in a circle. Is this... Okay, good, this is open. Or at least I can open it. Oh, a lich vampire! Yeah, no, do I just have to go get a different sword or something? <laughs> like, I just feel like I'm mowing down everything, and I'm not expecting everyone to be super hard, but... I don't know, fine. I'm gonna switch to the Vigilant Sword. Let's... Favorite that. And, uh... We'll make that... In place of my... Sword that I've been using. That's... Alright, that's a big one right there. That's a big one. Hello? Can we talk? Oh, never mind. Doesn't want to talk. Doesn't want to talk. Nightmare of Illinalta. Okay, see, now... This is probably the damage that they expect me to do. To enemies. Where he's a bit... He's a bit stronger now, yeah. But he's still not doing much damage to me, so maybe they also expect me to be using... You know what? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna make this more of a fair fight. I'm gonna take off my goddamn, oh, my dragon carved armor, which is a mod, and I'm gonna switch to, well, the vagrant armor is still pretty goddamn strong, but let's do that. That didn't even, that didn't phase him at all. Hey, where do you think you're going? All right, karma gained. See, that's a little bit better. Uh, just balancing wise, increased disease resistance by 50%. Ancient fisherman amulet. Oh, he was a fisherman. And then he got dragged down here, turned into a vampire, and then he led the vampires, and he was like, We are all friends now. Alright. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna keep this on expert for now, unless it turns out that I just need to turn it back down to adept. I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever had this issue in a mod before, where the mod had enemies that were too easy. Like, I don't think that's ever been my issue before. I think I've only ever had it where it was like, oh, this is too difficult. And enemies were ridiculously overpowered, and it was just this thing of like, alright, no, I gotta lower the difficulty so that I have even a chance of surviving. I don't know, it's kind of a nice change of pace. I'm really not gonna complain. I just feel bad that it's like, oh yeah, no, I'm just mowing down everyone in two seconds. Literally two hits for every goddamn enemy. Hello. Need something? No, I'm just just here to chat. Just here to hang out. Be best buds. Oh, don't eat that, that's just bones. So hungry all the time, I'm pretty sure this is 
the section that I got completely lost in. Like, I remember the asylum. I remember this, because it's where all the feral, uh, feral, feral vampires were kept. And I remember this is the area that I got super goddamn turned around and got super lost in. And it took me forever to find my way out of here. I also vaguely remember that the way I got out of here was I just consulted the local map. And I was like, okay, I've been going in circles. I have to go exactly this one way up this certain staircase. And that's how I got through here. But, you know, I'm confident that I can actually figure this one out this time. Maybe that's just foolish of me to say that, but we'll see. I guess also after recently playing the Blood Moon expansion for Morrowind and having to deal with the goddamn werewolf tomfoolery, like, everything just feels easy by comparison right now. Like, all of this just seems incredibly easy right now. Ah! Oh, Thingol! I remember there was a friendly person here. This is a bad time for you to be here. Jericho can return at any moment. Who? Oh, and there's Jericho! Well, he's not the brute, he's invisible, but... Alright, take my shield out. Oh, there's another vampire behind me. That's right, you missed! Okay. Jericho, calm down. See, now I'm actually taking some damage. Oh, it took a little time, but I finally did it. I finally managed to make this a little bit more difficult for myself. And... Oh, he just healed himself again! It's okay. Everything's fine. I might have to use a healing potion or two, but we'll be fine. Wait, wait, wait. I got him. I got him. There we go. Down goes Jericho. And... Alright, we're good. First kill is always the best. Now, how's it going, Thingle? What happened here? It was her. She was here. The Blood Matron. We fought her, but... We were powerless. We couldn't do anything. Those of us who survived were forced to drink her blood and were turned into vampires. Why are you imprisoned here? All of those who refused her blood are imprisoned here. We will stay here until we give in. You gave in. I can tell from your eyes. <laughs> like, you are very clearly a vampire. Don't give me that shit if you did not give in. Is there anything I can do? I want you to kill me. I want to die before I become a bloodthirsty monster. I understand. I will grant you your request. Thank you. Do it quickly. I don't know how much longer I can resist the thirst. Oh, okay. I think it's the thing of- Kill me. Please. Just kill me. I also should ask the other questions before all this. Oh! Okay! Okay, alright. Guess what? He couldn't resist for very long. Okay. It's the thing of he was saying that- He wasn't saying that he never became a vampire. He was saying that he never took the blood, which- was another step. So we got big doors and little door. Do I... Can I go through the big doors yet? Oh, okay. That leads back to Old Windhelm City. Unless it's another sector of Old Windhelm City and I haven't been there yet. Because I was in the slums and... I'm trying to remember if I had been to the city itself or if it's just the slums. Oh. Hello there. Uh, I was too late. They're all dead. They're all lost. Now, there's only me and her left. 
and the monster before my eyes. Oh, is that me? I'm a, am I the monster? monster? of Molag Baal. Oh, no. You will go no further. All right. Let the souls of my lost friends find peace in your death. I'm, I'm not... I'm not your enemy. I'm not your enemy here. Oh, he went invisible. Get back here, you. I also like it's the thing of like, oh, he goes invisible, but it also shows you on your goddamn compass where the hell he is. So it's like, well, I still kind of know where he is. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Wait, wait. Oh, that didn't, that didn't knock him down at all. Damn it, get back here. There he, there he is. I saw a glimmer of him. Oh, I'm close to death, actually. Oh, God. All right. Oh, time to heal up. Time for a healing potion. Or two. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, God damn it. I thought he was further away than that. Wait. Finish him off. Oh, thank God. Completed. Loose sentence. There we go. Got his key. We can take his note. Uh, let's take the rusty sword. Let's read his note. Jacob is dead. Joshua fled with fear. The rest of us had no choice but to surrender to the blood matron. She accepted our surrender graciously. Not only that, she offered us her blood. But I was the only one who accepted it willingly. The others could not abandon their faith in Stendar and are still fighting their bloodthirst. I am afraid they will be disposed of if they do not change soon. As if he was sympathetic to us, her butler ball had given us reprieve. We have until her next awakening. I will persuade the others to accept her blood until then. This power, this ecstasy, they will accept it. And we will have a drink together like in the old times. Okay, so he's essentially being like, yep, Molag ball had forsaken us, and that's why it's totally okay that I do all of this. Uh, did that just change the color of my screen? Did everything just get a lot more orange, or is it just me? Aposculus Lamai Ball to Mesomorai, a brief account of Lamai Ball and the Restless Death. Mabi Iwinel, scribe, translation by University of Gwilym Press, 3rd Era, Year 105. As brighter grows light, darker becomes shadow. So it passed that the Daedra Molag Ball looked on R.K. and thought the Aedra prideful of his dominion over the death of man and mare, and it was soothed. Baal, whose sphere is the wanton oppression and entrapment of mortal souls, sought to thwart R.K., who knew that not man, not mare, not beast, uh, nor beast folk of all Nern could escape eventual death. The Aedra was doubtless of his sphere, and so Molag Ball set upon Nern to best death. Tamriel was still young and filled with danger and wondrous magic when Ball walked in the aspect of a man and took a virgin, Lamai Balefog, from the Nedic people. Savage and loveless, Ball profaned her body, and her screams became the shrieking winds, which still haunt certain winding fjords of Skyrim. Shedding a lone droplet of blood on her brow, Baal left Nern, having sown his wrath. Violated and comatose, Lamai was found by nomads and cared for. A fortnight, hence, the nomad word woman enshrouded Lamai in Paul, for she had passed into death. In the way, the nomads, uh, in their way, the nomads built a bonfire to immolate the husk. That night, Lamai rose from her funeral pyre and set upon the coven, still aflame. She ripped the throats of the Women ate the eyes of the children and raped their men as cruelly as Baal had ravished her. And so, Lamai, who is known to us as the Blood Matron, imprecated her foul aspect upon the folk of Tamriel and begat a brood of countless abominations from which came the vampires, most cunning of the night horrors. And so was the scourge of undeath wrought upon Tamriel, cruelly mocking Arke's rhythm of life and death, though all the coming eras of Et Ada, and for all his sadness, R.K. knew this could not be undone. Activate Relief of the Maiden. 
No, it's not letting me do anything. Yep, it's not doing anything. And this is locked now, so... I said activate Relief of the Maiden! Okay, maybe I just have to go this way. Did that unlock that? Yes, it did, alright. So much for Relief of the Maiden. Wait, is this the way I came from? Nope, this is where I have to go. The Matron's Chamber. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh! Oh, those are spikes! Oh, oh, those are spikes right in my face! Okay. That's a little painful. Am I just gonna merge with her body? It would seem so. Ooh. Oh, it's very nice here. It's very pretty. Oh, thank God. Lamai Balefag. What's wrong? Oh, let's move on. The sun is setting. Where are we going? Don't you remember? We're going to my father's castle. Your father? Have you forgotten him, too? You've already met before. Her face scares me. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I know she's going to be a vampire, but her face scares me. Well, you lead the way. Unless you want me What's to lead wrong? the way. Oh, let's move on. The sun is setting. All right, never mind. I don't need to ask who she is. I know exactly who she is. The first vampire. Okay, she's just following me then. Okay. I had heard, you know, the story of how the first vampire came to be stuff with uh, Lamai and how Ball corrupted her, was trying to cheat RK, stuff like that, but, you know, getting to see it, that's, that's another story. That's what makes things quite interesting. Now we're in Tamriel, in the olden days, when Tamriel was still young. And very clearly still young because there's no roads anywhere. It's like, oh yes, let's go to the castle. It's like, where's the castle? It's like, it's somewhere. Okay, there it is. Yeah, no, no one's invented roads yet. You just gotta walk everywhere and hope that you're going the goddamn right way. Does he, uh, does he know we're coming? Is he gonna open, is he gonna open the gate for us? Never mind. Didn't have to ask that. He is. Your father chose some, uh... Some strange statues, Lamai. Look, Lamai? Uh-oh. Lamai, where'd you go? Oh, no, that's not good. You turn your back for two seconds and she just... She vanishes. I can't use those doors. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Oh. Oh, who do we have over here? Is this going to be Moloch Ball himself? Here to speak to me once more? It is indeed. We meet again, child of Stendar. Moloch Ball welcomes you. It's because you're transcending time don't and space, aren't you? Don't you want to be with this girl forever? Her happiness is the will of Stendar, too. She's not happy! There is no need to abandon your faith. Just take heart and go on. Nothing more is needed. What do you mean a happiness? There's no happiness. She's not happy. You're gonna ravage her. Oh no. Oh, she's already been stabbed through her heart. Oh, look at her eyes. Come on, let's go. Everyone will be happy for us. Um. Oh god, I don't know. Be gone, monster, or yes, let's go. It's like I know she's the first vampire. 
what do I do? So this kind of goes back to the thing that Molag Ball had said previously, where he said, like, if you stray from your path to Stendar, I will entrap you in my realm. And his realm, going to Oblivion, going to, um... Oh man, it's going to escape me even though I know the name of where it is. Cold Harbor is Act 4 of the mod. So if I say yes, let's go, it's going to skip me ahead to a further act, which I don't want to do. So we're going to say Be Gone Monster. Your eyes, so cold. You're just like him. Will you answer my love with a dagger to the heart too? You can't run from me. I won't let you. You will come with me even if I have to tear you to pieces first. Someone's a little clingy. What is that music? What is this music? Oh god, okay. If you could stand still for two seconds, Lamai. Jesus Christ, Lamai. Oh, she's very strong. She's just shooting magic at me without even raising her hands or anything. It's a little odd. God damn it. How strong is she? Do I just have to fight off her hordes? If she continues to hurl magic at me? God damn it, Lamai. Yeah, you know, you get like one hit on her before she just ups and vanishes. Oh. Lamai. There you are. Oh, God. All right. As soon as my shout hit her, she just vanished. Am I just supposed to keep doing this? Like, hit her... Once every time until she's dead? God damn it! I didn't even get to hit her that time! I see you. I see you. Don't you dare vanish. There we go. Not that she's really taking much damage at all. I might just be better off <laughs> using my crossbow on her. And she vanished. Wait, 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 wait. Alright, good hit, good hit. Yep, 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 I can, I can kill her, I can kill her. Just one more good hit. Or I can miss again. Damn it, stop teleporting every two seconds. I didn't even get a chance that time. I missed again. All right, let's take out the vampires first. And now... Oh, there we go. Blood of Lamai Ball added. Oh, all right, that's terrifying. Bard's Dagger. Especially un effective against Undead and Daedra. Don't mind if I do. Wait, Jacob! Oh. Bard's dagger is reacting to Molag Ball. Wait, Jacob was dead all this time? I know the note said that Jacob was dead, but. Huh. Cannot use this while you're in combat. I'm not in combat. Unless another enemy spawned in this cell, which would be Rise, a little... Oh, God! Lamay. Rise and sink your fangs into the flesh of this mortal. Wasn't and expecting I that. Let you dream again. I was not expecting that. Oh, God, that scared me a little. All right. Free Lamai Ball from the curse of Molek Ball. Oh, God, is she going to be strong again? Oh, is she going to teleport every two seconds again? And even in in death slash undeath, she maintains her fighting style. Wait. Oh, okay. Hey, wait a second. The dagger's back in her chest. I took that out. Give me that back. That's my dagger. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I thought I saw the dagger in her chest. It's not there, it's just the seam of the clothing and the blood stain. It's okay, Lamai, you're gonna be at peace. You're gonna be at peace. Just let me kill you. Oh, 
I also keep on trying to swing a second time, and I know that it's just a waste of my efforts. But I keep trying, just hoping that I can maybe hit her a second time. She's almost dead, it's fine. Wait, wait, wait! You're free, Lamai. You're free. Or not! God damn it! God damn cheater, Lamai. I'm just doing this to help you. <laughs> Withered Rose of Lamai. I don't want to take it until I know for sure that he's dead. Or she's dead. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I probably have to take it as soon as she goes down. That's what it's going to be. And that's what's going to stop her from coming back. That or I just had to kill her three times, because it's just going to be one of those deals. Alright, alright, she's going down, and quickly, 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 let me search the body, and let me take the rose. Nope, and she's back. What if I... Oh, she has the rose again! Wait. What if... I put the dagger on her? Nope, never mind, alright. What am I getting wrong about this? Alright. I'm taking the dagger. And here's the thing. The energy that's reviving her is coming from Molek Ball, I'm pretty sure. Because there's the curse of Molek Ball up here. Let's use the Bard's dagger. Because I tried attacking him before. Oh! Oh, there we go. I thought I had to actually hit him more than once. Oh, because it said the dagger was reporting... Or not reporting, but was reacting. To Molek Ball. I don't know if me sitting in the throne does anything. I don't think it does. Just wanted to see if it did. Alright, there we go. Yeah, he just kept reviving her. Because it had that sort of magical effect. The same one that you get when you drain a dragon of its soul. So he was the thing keeping her alive. Or revived in this case. So I just had to kill him. And I tried attacking him before. Just with my regular sword. Which didn't do anything. So... It was just clearly the thing of I had to use the um, the Bard's Dagger to kill him. Which makes sense, they did give me the clue, I just didn't notice it. Or, not that I didn't notice it, I just was like, oh, clearly I have to fight Lamai and kill her. And I was more focused on her than I was on Molag Ball himself. Alright, made it back safe and sound. Took care of that vampire problem, it was a much bigger deal than anyone would have, have expected. Serving a steward to Ulfric Stormcloak was a great honor, but I don't miss his temper. I solved your vampire problem. Oh, I'm truly grateful to you. Please accept this as a reward. It's not much, but I still want you to take it. And... Also, I told some oh. of the vigilants passing through the city about the Temple of Stendar. They should have arrived there by now. Beautiful. We are counting on your assistance in the future. Stendar be with you. And also with Travel you. Safely. 2,000 gold added. I get new new recruits, new constituents, which is also good. Alright, in that case, let's head on back and see what they have for me next.